Jerry at Fair Oaks. Mr. Morrison. Mr. Morrison? Yeah? Who? Oh, Bruce. Hiya, fella. I should like to have a little talk with you, Mr. Morrison. Huh? Hey, what's the idea of calling me Mr. Morrison, Bruce? I have my own reasons. Yeah? Uh, say, where did you go after the game? To the locker room to change clothing. Oh, well, when I got there, you weren't there anymore. I thought you'd wait for me. No, I had a few things to think over, which I could do better if I were alone. Oh. Uh, mm, swell day, isn't it? Very nice. Mr. Morrison... I'm not going to take very long to say what I have in mind. The fact of the matter is this. I think that what you've done is just about the lowest thing anyone could imagine. Hmm? I don't get it. Hey, what's the idea of kidding? Don't try to wriggle out of this, Mr. Morrison. Say, look, I'm in a hurry. I've got to get to the study hall. You don't have to be there for quite a while. Meanwhile, you'll listen to what I have to say. Don't get tough. I have no intentions of doing so, Mr. Morrison. Well, why don't you cut out that Mr. Morrison stuff, then? Don't change the subject. In there, in the gym during that basketball game, you deliberately told me to foul Dugan. You knew that I knew nothing of what constituted a foul or what was fair. Why did you tell me to do it? Say, what are you trying to do? Nothing at all. Nothing but get things straightened between us. Go away. You're acting like a three-year-old kid. Nevertheless, Mr. Morrison, you're going to stand right where you are and listen to me. You told me to foul Dugan, knowing that it might result in a serious injury for Jerry. I want to know why you did it. Maybe I was excited. You know, the second day I was here, you tried to influence me against Jerry and Lee. You tried to get us to quarrel. You didn't have to if you didn't want to. That's not the point. You made me want to. Everything you did or said was aimed at throwing Dugan and me at each other. And you did it to gain your own ends. Look, one more word like that out of you, and I'm going to forget we're in the quad. I'm going to take a crack at you. Morrison, you're a liar. I warned you. And I'm waiting. Oh, you're crazy. You know I wouldn't dare try to hit you now, especially in the trouble I am. Why are you in trouble when no other cadet is? The whole school can't be wrong, Morrison, with you the only right one in it. What are you getting at? What I'm getting at is this. I think you have engineered or tried to engineer a serious breach between me and Dugan. And in doing so, you might have gotten me into the trouble here at Fair Oaks. I'm not used to that sort of thing, Mr. Morrison. I'm never going to get used to it. So what? So I'm going to ask Major Davis to allow me to change rooms. Hey, wait a minute. You can't do that. I you... certainly can. Oh, you're a squealer, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean you're going to turn goody-goody and tell everything. I'm not going to say a thing about it, Morrison. I can fight my own battles. And this is one between you and me. That's all. Okay, okay. Have it your own way. But let me tell you this. You're going to be sorry, and so's Dugan and Phillips. Really? Yeah, really. Good day, Mr. Morrison. Where are you going now? I'm going directly to Jerry and Lee to apologize for the sticky way I've acted. I... Okay. Goodbye. I think you're going to be sorry. chair, Mr. Dow Campbell. Thank you. And would, would, would you mind chucking the Mr. Dow Campbell, Jerry? 
chucking to Mr. Dal Campbell? I don't get it. I mean, I want you to call me Bruce. You... you mean you... you... What do you mean? I mean, I've come to my senses, Jerry and Lee. The little episode in the gymnasium this afternoon brought me around. I learned that Red Morrison was... Well, he, he told me to block you out of the play in that way, Jerry. I give you my word of honor, I had no idea it was a foul. The game seemed rather rough, and I took it for granted that checking you with my hip was perfectly legitimate. Oh, I get it. So that's it. Of all the dirty tricks, that certainly takes the frosted cake. Well, I wouldn't have said it that way, Lee, but it it certainly wasn't cricket. I wouldn't have said it that way, Bruce, but it certainly was pretty dirty. Well? Well... Well, <laughs> well, I, I guess we don't have to have any more explanation. Well, I wonder if you two gentlemen would mind shaking hands with me. Mine? Say, we've been wanting to do that ever since you came here, Bruce. But you had your hands full. Full? Yeah, full of Red Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> put her there, Bruce. Uh, put... In English, Bruce, uh, Lee means shake hands. Oh, oh, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see where I'm going to have to get used to a few expressions which will make us understand each other. Yeah. Well, now that we're all happy and rid of a menace, what do we do? Oh, uh, I'm going to have to go to Major Davis. To Major Davis? Why, what's up, Bruce? I'm going to ask him to change my room. What for? You mean, you don't want to share Morrison's room? Exactly. Well, wait a minute, Bruce. Let me tell you something. Red played some pretty dirty tricks on Lee and me, but he's staying on here at school because his father, well, he wants Major Davis to keep him here. Now, if you tell Major Davis why you want to change rooms, well, can't you see what that's going to do? Well, I, I shan't tell. I, I, I'm no, no squealer, but... But he'd ask you, and you'd have to give a reason. Well, then I shall. Listen, Bruce, he'll be kicked out of Fair Oaks, and, well, not even his worst enemy would want that. I know I wouldn't. You see, Bruce... Red may be a heel, but, well, maybe there's some good about it. Yeah. Maybe we're just curious about it and want to see if, well, if there is. But if he leaves, then we wouldn't be able to see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, all right. I'll do it. I'll stay where I am, and I shan't go to Major Davis. I say, that's cricket. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're right. It's, uh, it's swell. a <laughs> boy, Bruce. Now you're feeling him. <laughs> what? Don't throw him at him so fastly. <laughs> no. Nah. I think we ought to celebrate with a double nut chocolate sundae at Max Place. And this time I'll have one, because my within bounds period ended last night. So let's go. Oh, right oh. I'm with you. And it's my treat. Ah, oh, nothing doing, Bruce. It's mine. Oh, it's mine. All right, it's yours, Lee. Huh? Thank you. Hey, a guy can't even be polite without getting stuck. I didn't mean it. But you are stuck. Uh... Hey, let's go. Oh, I say... Hi, oh, we're off to Max. <laughs> I say, this is wonderful. I feel at home here at Fair Oaks now. Sure, and as soon as Lee starts to borrow things from you, you'll be in with the best <laughs> hey. of us. Hey, like that. I say, doesn't either of you want any explanations? Mm -mm. Nothing doing. It's all okay, Bruce. Well, I must say it's awfully nice of you. Ah, oh, forget it. Now, tell us all about India. About India? Sure. Are there such fellas as, uh, what do you call them, Lee? Oh, I kind of forget. You know, Bruce, they're, they're magicians. Oh. Oh, you mean fakirs? Yeah. yeah, those are the ones. Uh, tell us about them. <laughs> We've been burning up to ask you about them, but, well... Well, some evening we'll get together and I'll tell you a lot of things. I, I really didn't want to before because I was afraid you'd think I was chucking my weight about. Uh, strike one on Dugan. <laughs> <laughs> Throw that one again, Bruce. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Jerry means, what do you mean, <laughs> chucking your weight about? Oh, <laughs> oh, that means drawing the long bow. Strike two! <laughs> <laughs> now you've got to explain your explanation, Bruce. Oh, well, they both mean the same thing. Uh, bragging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Chucking your weight about, huh? <laughs> Hey, that's good. Hey, remind me, Secretary Phillips, to use that once in a while, just to throw it into my conversation to add a little class. Mm, yeah, you need it. Hey. <laughs> well, we're far away from India at present. Yeah, that's right. Uh, go ahead, Bruce. Uh, tell us something about it. Well, of course I've seen the fakirs. Everyone goes to India usually to see them, especially in Benares during a festival. Quite clever chaps, too. They do the most extraordinary things. Tricks? Oh, yes, all sorts of weird things. 
Oh, I must tell you sometime about Ram Shikal. Well, what's that? Here, Tony? Oh, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ram Shikal was attached to my father's regiment. A sort of liaison officer, that is, he... Well, he was for a time while we were quartered near Delhi. Quite a chap. Yeah, well, uh, go on. Well, it's a very long story, but I'll tell it to you sometime. Oh, watch the arch, Jerry. Well, I'll meet you on the pavement. Mm-hmm. Say, he sort of opens up when you get to know him, doesn't he? Mm, sure. You know, I had a hunch all along that he was regular and... Well, here we are again. <laughs> I'll bet that Mac is fooling around in his chemistry laboratory. Mm -hmm. Making things explode. You know, I rather like him. Mac? Oh, everybody here does. Now, go ahead, Jerry. Open the door. Uh-huh. <laughs> I told you, he isn't in sight. Hey, Mac! Oh, Mac! <laughs> Make it three, old Max. <laughs> All ready. Uh, I'll be right with you. Okay, Max, step on it. We're celebrating. Oh, celebrating, is it? Aye, uh, and what might you be celebrating? Reunion. Oh, gosh, lads, you didn't talk that way, we old Mac. Reunion for oh, what? Mac, meet Bruce Dow Campbell. Meet him? Well, I just dashed. I gone clean dashed. <laughs> I met this lad the other day, I. And if my memory is now gone clean, then you met him too. Now, wait a minute, Mac. <laughs> Bruce has found out that, well, Jerry and I are his friends after all. Oh, then, then you mean that you're all friends with each other, and there'll be no more rowing and fighting? That's it, Mac, exactly. Well, 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 now, this calls for a treat, eh? It calls for a treat, lads. Uh, what'll you have? Uh, Bruce? I'll have... Oh, uh, you'll have tea, I know. I, I got it today. I laid in a supply. I, that I did. Uh, uh, no tea, Mac. What? I'll have... A double chocolate nut sundae with whipped cream on top. Oh, shut up, boy. Mine's the same. Yeah, so is mine. Uh, three double chocolate nut sundaes with whipped cream on top, eh? Uh, a fitting dish for such a grand thing as friendship. Uh, mind you, laddies, keep it always, for friendship won is goodness gained, eh? Some good always comes of it, mark my words. You'll have no cause to regret it. That's it, Mac. Eh? I'll not be asking the reason or the cause for all this, but... To see that it makes my heart glad after seeing you lads at swords points day after day is, uh, is nothing. It was making me feel muckle bad. And uh, no, well, it's all cleaned up. Uh, oh, uh, what about Red Morrison? Oh, nothing. We're just going to hope that he comes around, too. Uh, I hope so, too. And no for the Sunday. Yeah, that's what I said. I've never had one. Uh, you'll get a real one now. Oh, I almost forgot, lads. Now that you've told me the good news about yourselves, I'm going to tell you a little something. Yeah? What, man? Uh, uh, lads, <laughs> I've got a secret. I, a secret? No, no, I, I'll not be telling you the new, because this is a, a celebration. But i uh, got a secret, and a big one. I, and you've got to have patience until I tell you. Uh, 